In this video, we're going to learn how to denoise the images in Python using the OpenCV. And we're going to install uh, two libraries, which is OpenCV and the matplotlib. So let's go ahead, open the terminal and using this pep3 install OpenCV dash Python and then the matplotlib. And these are just confirm that I have been installed the libraries already. So now let's go back to the Visual Studio code. And then I'm going to create a Jupyter Notebook to run the code. And I'm going to show you guys uh, four different approaches to denoise the image. The first thing is the Gaussian blur. And the second, the median blur and bilateral filter. And the last one is non-local means. So that we can see the different results, which method that the best one to apply the noise reduction. The first thing we're going to import a CV2 to using the library, and the second one is the matplotlib. And I'm going to uh, alias this as plt and click run this code so that we can see there is no error. And then the next step, we're going to define a function noise reduction, which is we're going to pass the parameters of the images path into it. So in this function, we're going to uh, apply those approach the four method that we're going to do. So the first thing, I'm going to uh, use the OpenCV2 to uh, read the image into the uh, variable, which is img underscore noise. And then we're going to convert that image into the RGB color. Because the by default, OpenCV2 is going to return as the value BGO. So we have to convert that into the RGB, which is the standard we known as the standard channels. So now the first approach, I'm going to use the Gaussian blur. So this technique basically uh, smooth an image by averaging the pixels values with their neighbors using the uh, Gaussian function in the mathematics. So now we're going to the pass of value. The first thing is the noise image, which is we have import, we have the load from the local machine. And the second parameter is the values of the kernel side, which is uh, the areas to consider for the uh, weight average. So I'm going to put it 5 and 5. And the last one is the uh, standard deviation that I'm going to put as the 0. And then we're going to also convert that uh, Gaussian blur image into the color or GB. So the first parameter is, is going to be the Gaussian blur and the second is the cv2.color BGO to RGB. Okay. And now we're going to apply the second method which is the medium blur. So the medium blur works by replacing each pixels in an image with the median values of the pixels in the surrounding neighborhood. It's unlike the Gaussian blur which is erase the uh, pixel values and this method is use the middle values of the neighboring pixel when shot by brightness. So this technique is particularly in effects at removing noise, especially for the salt and the paper noise without the blurring the edge as much as the Gaussian blur does. So let's go ahead and call out this function, medium blur. So the first thing, the values of the parameter is the image blur. I mean, image noise, which is we have the image from the local machine and paste it into this parameter. And the second one is the kernel side, which is we don't have to put it as the tuple, just the one single values as the five, or you can try the different values so that we can see the difference. So now, for example, this one I'm going to put as a five as a value of the kernel. So now let's say that um, medians are RGB, which we're going to convert that medium blur uh, values, I mean, medium blur image into the RGB color, which is we do the same things as the Gaussian blur. And the next method that we're going to approach is the bilight draw filter. So for this method, it's going to average the nearby pixels but it's only blend the pixels that are close in color. And this means that it helps smooth out the rough area without losing sharp edge, making it useful for cleaning up the image without making them look more blurry. It means that it keeping the detail is clear. So now let's go to uh, call out the methods by light draw filter. And the first is the same parameter that we're going to pass the image noise and the next is the values of the diameter of the pixel neighborhoods which is we use for filtering and the next is uh, for the control filter considering the color different which is the like value means uh, the most dissimilar color will be blended together 
and this one is space we're going to keep it the same so let's go to convert that to the rgb color all right so finally we're going to apply the last one is a non-local mean and about this non-local means is working on the averaging pixel based on the similarity which is not just uh, proximity which means that it's allowed for the better noise reduction while preserving important detail and the texture in image. But we cannot conclude that uh, non-local means is the better or the best uh, version of base noise reduction. We're going to see the result first and we can determine which one is the very good one and which one is the worst one. Okay, so let's go to call out that function. In the OpenCV, they don't have the non-local means function name, but they use the fast and L means the noise color instead of that. But this function is going to be use the algorithm of non-local means. So for the first parameter, it's the same as the other function that we already use it. So it's going to put the image noise. And for this one, it's going to be uh, return out the new image if we put as none here. And the third one is the parameter that is going to uh, filter the straight of the brightness component, which means that the lighter values mean the stronger noise removal, but it could lead the loose of the detail of the photo. And this parameter is used for the filter straight of color component. And for this one, the template window size is used for a side patch around each pixel used for the comparison. So by default, it's going to be 7 by 7. But I'm going to put this event here and the last one is the search window side the side window where the algorithm search for the similar uh, patches all right so now we're going to convert that uh, btr to the rtb by using the same uh, function cvt color and paste the nanocore means uh, photo inside there so now i'm going to run on this method so that we can see there is no errors between that we call out the function and uh, pass some parameter is uh, correct so now let's do to the next step. We're going to call out the result and see that the photo, how the photo uh, will be displayed, reduce the noise, how much it's renewed the noise and which uh, one the method or algorithm is the best one. So I'm going to call this uh, matplotlib, which is uh, we're going to print or uh, plot the result in together. So I'm going to put that into the tuple list so that we can loop out and print together. So we have the two polys. Now I'm going to loop all of this uh, two pole into the and plot into the subplot. Okay. So here's subplot. I'm going to uh, display into uh, two row and three columns. And then the title, we just put a title, each title that we have in the two polys, which is noise image, Gaussian image, median image, bilateral image, and so on, like that. Okay, so let's run this uh, cell again. So now I'm going to save this uh, file to the my local machine. So I'm going to name it as the noise image in this directory. Okay. Okay, so let me reveal the explorer so that we can see the image uh, in here in the root directory. I have uh, two images, which is have the noise image in here. So we're going to call out the function and paste the image which is uh, the image name because it's the same root directory so we can call that image directly okay so I'm going to copy that uh, image name and paste here and then another one is the noise too okay so now let's run this uh, cell okay now we can see there is an error which is uh, noise reduction is not defined Okay, so let's see that what's going on here. I'm going to rerun this again so that it's going to be compiled. It's new. It's still the same. It's still error, but another error is the different one. And line 24, what's going on here? Okay, I don't forget put this number here because it support is is have to be start from one, not zero. Okay, so I think it's gonna be work. Okay, so let's run it again. Okay, so now we can see the image in here. 
now we have the four different image which is the original one is noise image the first you can see the first one it have much noise in there okay i think we missed a photo which is uh display as another core image so i think this is going to be uh have some error in here which is the rank we have to minus one we not have to minus one uh, so that it's going to be loop from uh zero to the last one okay here we can see there are five images different with the none and another four uh, algorithm that we have applied so we can see there is a have some different and noise reduction as well so what do you think that between this photo which one is the best one but uh, for this the second noise image reduction we can see this non-local image it's work better or uh, the best result better than the other photo for all of this approach we cannot say that which one is the best one the best algorithm that apply on the image that it depends on what photo that you are going to apply on it which means the image some image is better for the non-local image for some image is going to apply on the palette draw image is it the best one or something like that all right so that's it for video today i hope you learned something from this and don't forget to subscribe and like share for video i'm going to see you in the next one